Glint Manor started life as a holiday home in the early 1900s for a wealthy Melbourne family. It's had several owners since and most recently has been restored to become an elegant boutique hotel. The historic chateau is located at Mount Martha on the Mornington Peninsula, about an hour's drive south of Melbourne. And I'm here to tell you this would have to be one of the most glamorous places you can stay in. So let's take a tour. There are six individually furnished suites to choose from, including the imposing glamour of the Maharaja room with its inspiration from a bygone era. Step into the Venetian suite and there are warm golden tones complete with a crystal chandelier. The tower suite is your own private suite with your own little living area and your own private stairs. And up those stairs you'll find a glass roof that allows guests to dream sweet dreams under the stars. There's also an inviting outdoor spa. And for those who love a touch of red, then you can't go past the botanical suite. This is the French suite, which is my personal favourite. Beautiful chandelier, crisp, fresh white walls and natural tones. Very nice. All of the suites have luxurious bathrooms and with the house set on two and a half acres overlooking Port Phillip Bay, there are glorious gardens on view from every room. Now when you stay here, you get breakfast and I'm in the breakfast room about to enjoy this delicious looking fresh fruit, pancakes, free range eggs, tomatoes from the garden and there's even flowers freshly picked from the garden. How beautiful. Glint Manor has a fine dining room where you can enjoy dinner by arrangement. There's also a sumptuous living room to relax in. And all of this is the brainchild of Melbourne couple Lilla and Dimitri Cedaropoulos. Well, this place is a credit to both of you. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Susan. Thank you very much. What was the inspiration behind it? It was just a, a, a moment of madness. It was a dream. We've, we've bought yeah, him for a while, dream. for the last uh, few years. We drove down here and we saw it 20 minutes prior to the auction. I fell in love with it, Lila fell yeah. in love with it, and we went for the auction and we bought it. You just did it, like that. I love that, those spontaneous yeah. moments. Spontaneous, yeah. Yeah. And then you read about it, and how long did that take you? Just over three months. It's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We had up 17 builders here, electricians and plumbers. I bought mattresses, which I put them in the maids' quarters at the back. And uh, I bought food and drink for them, plenty of drink. They were very happy. <laughs> they lived and here. And they eventually yeah. lived here. So you lock the front gate, they can't well, escape, yeah, they get the, the job point, done. Yeah. Exactly. Only weekends, I let them they go They had the occasional <laughs> weekend <laughs> off. <laughs> That's a great idea. They're very smart. Yeah, they were very, yeah. very good. They were, we had fantastic but, people working here. Good fantastic. On you. Well, they, they clearly, well. Yeah. I can see it's an immaculate job. Immaculate. Yeah, thank you. And congratulations to you both, but you're also very clever, with building a very clever idea, but you're clever. You <laughs> just a baby, two and a half weeks ago, a beautiful we little did. girl. Yes, little Alexia. Oh, congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Look at you in the house. Is immaculate and you're running the business and yeah, well, <laughs> wow it's you part just of go the with dream. the flow it's part of the flow yeah. oh, it's wonderful when people follow their dreams thank you very thank much you. thank you thank you Sue. if you'd like to stay at glint manor then jump online or give them a call